Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2003 Creep Race 2436. Season 4 of the Creep, we're going to Bristol. Last race was Michigan, and we got a top 30. Disappointing race. I've learned a lesson though, so that's good. Whenever a car comes out, I gotta abort it. So at least when I'm up here, bro, I gotta abort it, so at least that's what I learned. And uh, yeah, so. Anyways. Let's we'll set the stands real quick. We have a 31 point lead over Goyne and a 33 point lead over Junior. And um, going into this, we're not using the best stuff at Bristol because right, the stuff get torn up pretty easily. So, uh, one more race for to repair and no work for the engines. The new the new engine came in, so we're probably using the Darlington. Because Darlington, I think I got the best chance of winning there. As I sure hope so. And uh, anyways, let's go to Bristol and... Well, for a solid run. 15, 6, 1, so there's no game sound, and 15th. Okay, not bad. Of course, there's no game noise or something like that, so. Anyways, uh, we'll wait for that to come back. Yeah, because I adjust the sound thing, so it should come back eventually. What if I do this? Okay, not. Alright. Uh, where's my setup now? We're lower fourth gear down to about 140. That's why I have a race, as according to my uh, sheet, my good old my good old sheet with all the setups. So, anyways, on to Bristol. Time here at Bristol Motor go. Speedway, and we're ready to go racing under the lights. It's the Sharpie 500, brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. Barney, this place has been referred to as the world's fastest half-mile oval. Add 43 cars to that, and you've got a recipe for some exciting racing. Well, that's right, Joe. The fans here love watching this race. There'll be some bumping and banging out there, and this one, you can be assured of that. The 124 car has really focused in on his qualifying runs this year. Yeah, that team has made great strides in improving their qualifying setups, and it shows with all the top 10 starts they've made. Mm -hmm. Bush has a solid top 10 spot of the standing so far. I had a chance to talk to him this morning, and he's looking forward to this race. He feels they have a very strong car that can pick up some more points this week. We'll keep an eye on him. Scott Wheeler in this custom car in the front row. Well, let's see how Looks like Lawrence is going to start behind me, and there's Junior. I don't, I forgot where he is, but let's get this race going. And run away to Bristol! Junior says I'm on the inside line. I'm going to kill it. I want to get up, and Bristol, we can easily hear him in this position, so we're just going to hope for some good luck. And. We're going to be in 11th, so not bad. We can easily make up ground this track, so we just got to hit our marks and take it easy as oh, boy, very tight. Top 10, hell yeah, I'll take it. Thanks for letting me know, crew chief. Thanks for cutting me off, man. I appreciate it. Well, got you about two seconds. Oh, out of the behind me, so... Alright. Big wreck behind me. And we're going to be ninth, so not bad at all so far. So the caution is out. Right behind me. And it was for Jimmy Spencer. behind me, so... Oh, he just spun. <laughs> That's side light, though. Alright, we're gonna stay out. And... Green flag back in the air!
Morning, morning, morning. There's a lamp. Just take good care of my car. Doing a very good job taking good care of my stuff. This season, so. So I already marked Martin and rotate for now to eighth place. Thanks for letting me know, crew chief. I feel like I'm getting targets and I'm bulldozing my way to the field. And I messed up turn one! Sorry, Mark Martin! We're up to eighth! Yeah, at Bristol! At Bristol, you're not really gonna make a clean pass at Bristol, so you're pretty much just bulldozing your way through this pack because it's really hard to. Honestly, it's really hard to make a clean pass at Bristol, so. It's not easy to make a clean pass. Thanks for letting me know, Gucci. We're going for six. These guys can help out his custom car. I want to I wanna make an outside pass. Get back to the ball. I want to make an outside pass. Hi, Newman. Oh, I'm just squeezing. I can't get around park because I'm not close enough, so. And this weird, where within striking distance of trying to get this lead is that Bristol, we can hang on to the lead for a very long time. We can get it at any point. Was, we're going for fifth on park, and we should be able to get on this custom car. We're throwing in there to get around him. Cause I'm not staying behind this. We're up to fourth. Alright, we're gonna relax and try to run. We're coming to lot 20 and I just ran these guys down. I, I, I don't know what I'm but I, 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 this used to be one of the trucks I suck at, but for whatever reason, I just figured this place out and I'll, I'm all of a sudden have a chance to find a way on track and we got a caution, so. Yeah, I don't like to leave cars with pain, but I want to get third. Uh, we're gonna, oh, we're going to get fourth, but that's okay. It was for me, but we're going to pit. We're getting there. These guys can pit as well. It's for me, we all know, but I was surprised how fast I ran them down. We're going to pause it here and, uh, no. Why is that around on the hedge? Why? And why is my tire pressure at 22? We're gonna pit here. Okay, we're gonna pit. And everything's the same, so. Boom. You're the boss. Wow, it's a good stop. I'm surprised on how well I'm out to to the crew to give me a good stop. And. Okay! Okay! Now the question is when we're gonna cycle out. 16-4, not terrible. Okay, and we stop. Where are we gonna cycle out to? Is the question. 17. Oh my God. It's all right. We sh we should get to the field without problem. We got half the race left, so we should get to the field. At least I sure hope so. This car is very fast. We should get to the field without problem. At least I sure hope so. Because for that caution, we're running them down without problem. They were they have to go green on the We're gonna suck them back down to the lead because we're running, we're running them down without problems, so. Yeah, we're doing very well. Beautiful. I love to hear, crew chief. Thanks for letting me know. I'm being very aggressive and trying to get as many spots because. Thanks for letting me know, crew chief. The laps go by in a hurry at this place, so that's why I'm being aggressive because I want to get out to the front as fast as I can. Oh, somebody stopped or somebody blew up up here. 20 laps to go. Don't get the page. It's Chef Burton. We're quick with getting up to the field. I got I gotta get up to the field as fast as I can have any chance to win. Oh man, I'm being I'm being very aggressive.
impressive. I want to have a chance to win this race. Because it looks like for me, I'm in the best position. I just got around, um, I just got around Marla a couple laps ago and we can run these guys down. It took me a little bit to figure out the track and that caution didn't happen. I never really ran these guys down. Like on the green and I probably would have had this race won. Alright, we're in the top 10 and we got about 15 laps to go. Well, 17 to go. And we're in 10th. And we're about 5 seconds behind, so... We should get up to the front! At least I hope so. I mean, I'm being as aggressive as I can be to be in the best... Get out of my way, the bitches! Alright, 6 seconds back, and uh, let's go run them down. Alright, ran these guys down, and we got about... Seven laps to go. We're less than four seconds back. We're, we're catching them, crew chief. The leader's stuck in traffic, and I have a shot to win this now. I'm in the best position to win it, at least. Well, I got the fastest car, but it's just, I gotta get to the field as fast as I can. I can't get held behind these guys, and we're gonna have to the field very quickly. I just gotta get held behind these guys, because it looks like we're gaining on. Three laps to go, yeah, we are gaining on the lead, but it's just, we're gonna run out of time, unfortunately. Alright, fifth place. Two laps to go. We are in fifth place. White flag next time, so I could get up to third most likely. One lap to go! Probably Dale Jarrett's not leading, or Jeff Gore's not leading, because if he is, he's going to get a lot of points. Looks like I might bring it home third. Yeah, I'm going to bring... I, I will gladly take a third place at Bristol, because this used to be one of my worst tracks. I will take it, and Ricky run one, so I'm going to get a lot of points on Jeff Gore and Dale Jr. It's just, where do they finish? This was a good... I need this finish. Because I... This used to be one of my best tracks, and I, I had to say my best race of the year. Most likely. I didn't get any bonus points. Ricky Rudd got max points, so he's going to gain a little bit. And where did Jeff Gorn finish? Or Dale Jr.? Let's see... Oh, they're going to... I'm going to get a lot of points! Dale Jr. finished 22nd. He's going to be second in points. Jeff Gordon finished 28th. I'm going to have a big point lead now, that's for sure. This is Darlington, and let's see how the points are. And <laughs> I'm up by 101 points on Dale Jr. and Jeff Gordon because of their bad race. And yeah, I'm up by 101 points. So I got a little bit of a cushion. And the good news is, these next couple races, I got a shot to win. Let's get some extra few races. I'm... Or, or, the next few races are tracks that I'm very good at, so I should get a lot of points. And I got a little bit of a buffer to deal with, so. And yeah, this stuff's a little banged up, so. We're gonna use the best stuff for Darlington, because I think I can win at Darlington. So, anyways, I'll see you all at Darlington. As always, have a good day.